The Moroccan national team, it's fair to say, is one that's underperformed for many, many years. They've only won one major tournament, which was the 1976 AFCON. They um, finished bottom of their group in the 2018 World Cup, and they didn't even qualify for the 2014 World Cup. But they have had a spectacular rise in the last year, managing to reach the semi-final of the 2020 World Cup, making history by becoming the first African team to do so. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about Regreri, their manager, the incredible transformation he did with this team, and why the best is probably yet to come as well for Moroccan football. Um, they did end up in a very tough group, you know, the likes of Croatia, Belgium, you know, Canada aren't a bad side, to be fair. They did open the tournament with a nil-nil draw to Croatia, a fairly cagey game to be honest, but look, it is Croatia, a very, very good team, probably not a bad result, and a lot of people didn't think that Morocco would be able to get out of the group, you know, they were heavily written off by most people, but they did manage to get a win against Belgium, which was a pretty good achievement at the time, you know, I know Belgium, you know, aren't as good as they used to be, but still, you know, a decent result, you know, definitely the start of something positive, and they did, of course, go on to beat Canada as well to top the group as well, which was an incredible achievement. You know, no one, whatever about getting out of the group, very few people thought that they'd be able to top it. But, of course, Japan did top um, the group that Spain were in, so that was obviously a little bit of a disappointment in the way. It probably would have been easier to play Japan, but that turned out all right in the end. But, you know, incredible celebrations, you know, Morocco, true to the knockout stages, you know, very, very very good achievement, the first time of kind of having a successful, or somewhat of a successful World Cup in, you know, a long, long time. They did go on to face Spain in the round of 16, a very, very tough Spain team, you know, some very good young players like say, Gavi, Pedri, you know, very good manager in Luis Enrique, but an incredible defensive performance, just incredible defending. They managed to keep a fair amount of possession as well, to be fair, just kind of grind their way through the game, you know, there was obviously it was a nil-nil draw after full time and extra time, you know, a very, very cagey game, but after an incredible, you know, penalty triumph, I mean, there was some penalty shootout, I mean, Spain were really poor, of course, Bono, you know, the absolute hero, made some really, really good saves for Morocco, you know, very good underrated keeper, we obviously saw how good he was for Sevilla in the end. Um, Europa League final as well, managing to get the job done, Morocco true to their first ever World Cup quarter final, it was at the time, you know, incredible celebrations from the fans, the players, just incredible, they would go on to take Portugal, who were just off the back of, I think, a 6-1 win against Switzerland, you know, in very good form, Cristiano Ronaldo, you know, pretty desperate for a World Cup, and they did manage to overcome that, getting a one nil win, you know, another very good defensive performance, uh, with the goal coming from Yusuf El Nasiri, you know, another incredible player of Morocco, we go on to talk about the players a little bit later in the video, but just kind of like the Spain game, kind of grinded their way through, defended really, really well, got the moment on the counter-attack, um, you know, and just incredible, you know, absolutely incredible, you know, defensive work, you know, tactical masterclass this was from Regregi, like, absolutely, you know, superb, a lot of people were beginning to, to really, really notice this manager, now, this manager had only managed in the Moroccan league, he didn't even manage in, you know, any European football, any international experience, and to take your team to the semi-final of a World Cup really, really is something else, so a lot of people were beginning to really talk about this team, could they go on and win it, could they become the first African team to go on, not only, you know, get to the semi-final, but win the World Cup, 
They did, of course, take on France, who, of course, were the current champions at the time before Argentina did go on to win it, you know, and it was always going to be a really uphill task, a 2-0 defeat to France, although Morocco were not bad, it's fair to say, you know, it was a very solid performance, very, very strong defensively as well, despite conceding the two goals, you know, it was a bit of a pity in the end that, you know, pins didn't work out a little bit better, but still a brilliant achievement. You know, that's all Moroccans just so proud of this, you know, incredible team, you know, making history. And everyone in kind of Africa as well was behind Morocco, you know, very, very big achievement, I suppose, for African football in general, you know, to finally get that team to a semi-final, you know, and I'm sure Africa will be desperate for a World Cup winner, you know, we could definitely see one, hopefully in the future, it would be absolutely brilliant, so obviously, Regreri, um, you know, a very, very good manager, we are going to talk about some of the important players as well, Sophie and Armrabat really, really kind of got attention during the World Cup, you know, one of the best midfielders of the tournament, you know, he was just incredible, and it'll be interesting to See what club he does move to the likes of Barcelona and Atletico Madrid showing some very strong interest in him at the moment um, you know a very good player uh, going to be interesting to see what kind of career he is of course speaking of Barcelona of course Abde has had a very good season on loan at um, Osasuna maybe not so good for the national team compared to club but I think at only 21 years of age he's got a very good future ahead of him Unahi of course just moved to Marseille in January off the back of the brilliant World Cup, he's a brilliant young midfielder as well, of course Hakim Ziyech obviously had a really good tournament, you know, played really really well for the national team compared to Chelsea, you know and there's some other very very good players in there, you know, Buffal as well, he's been very very good Nafgad you know, not the best of pronunciations, but, you know, a very, very good centre-back, um, and of course, Hakimi as well, you know, of PSG, probably been their most household name, I suppose, for many, many years now, so, I suppose, when you think about it, well and truly, just an incredible achievement, an incredible triumph, really, um, you know, just incredible stuff, really, to see how well this team, of course, how can I not mention in the series, I mean, what a player was vital for Sevilla in the Europa League as well, it was really good for Morocco at this tournament, and, you know, definitely a player who will be key for them in the future, Rugret very absolutely shocked everyone there's no doubt about that now he did get a lot of criticism for playing defensive football that is one thing I will say but here's the thing you have to play defensive football if you're an underdog team it's the only way you can get wins against the big team so I do have sympathy his preferred formation is normally a 4-3-3 it seems to work really well a lot of kind of midfielders sitting back and defending but look I get but people's point are yes they don't play the most exciting football but still you can't against the likes of Spain Portugal you know these you know incredible pressing teams Morocco did have some incredible celebrations when they did get back home after the you know the trophy so or not the trophy what I'm on about after the incredible triumph you know so many people came out to see their heroes you know they did an incredible parade some incredible scenes really just incredible celebrations and real hope for this team I mean we do have the AFCON coming up I believe it's about a year from now and there's no doubt they're going to be absolute hot favourites for this and there are some very good young Moroccan players coming through um, at the moment as well across academies in Europe so it'll be interesting to see you know can they produce some more young talent can they go on and challenge for the 2026 World Cup you never know I mean they should definitely believe in the USA it's three years away so you know there's plenty of time for a few more young players to potentially be developed and really build a team like I mean look at Croatia you know no one thought they'd be able to repeat 2018 
again. Okay, they didn't quite repeat 2018, but you get what I mean. But anyway, do let me know in the comments if you are a Moroccan. Do you believe this national team can win the AFCON? Do you think they can have another good run in the, the, um, the World Cup in 2026? Do let me know in the comments. Make sure to like and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.